those expressions won't evaluate themselves. We have to do it. Let's go. Here's our expression. We have two variables, x and y, and y shows up in two places. And we have the numbers for these variables. x equals 3. So we will take 3 and plug it in where x is. y equals 2. So we will take 2 and put it where y is in two places. All right. And then we are going to calculate. Let's do it. When you see numbers and variables are so close together, it means there is multiplication between them. Very good. Now let's plug in our numbers. 4 times 3 times 2. So we plugged in 3 for x and 2 for y. Minus, and then inside the parentheses we have 2 times. Our y is 2, so put 2 where y is. And then plus 3. Remember we have the power here, so make sure you put the power over the parentheses. All right, next we are going to calculate according to the order of operations. What operations do we see? We see multiplication, we see subtraction, and we see parentheses. Inside the parentheses we have multiplication, addition, and this whole thing is raised to the second power. So what do we do first? First, we must do what's inside the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have multiplication and addition. So first, we will do multiplication inside the parentheses. 2 times 2 is 4. So let me rewrite 4 times 3 times 2 minus. And inside the parentheses, first, we will do multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3. And then this whole thing is raised to the second power. I'm going to write step by step so you see what's going on. All right, we still have these parentheses, so we must do what's inside them. 4 plus 3, which, which is 7. So let's rewrite this result. 4 times 3 times 2 minus 7. And remember this power, 7 is squared. What do we do next? That's right, we must take care of this exponent. We have 7 squared. So 7 squared, and we don't need parentheses because 7 is positive, so we can write it as 7 squared. 7 squared means 7 times 7, which is 49. Be careful, when you see 7 squared, do not accidentally multiply 7 by 2, because it is not correct. 7 squared means 7 times 7, which is 49. All right, let's rewrite and see what our next step is. So 4 times 3 times 2 minus came from our expression, and this whole thing became 49. So put 49 here. All right, it's much nicer now. No more parentheses, no more power. All right, what do we do next? We can take care of this multiplication. 4 times 3 is 12, and then times 2 is 24. Very good, so we have 24 minus 49. Very good. Be careful. Look, 24 is way less than 49. So we can rewrite it as 24 plus negative 49, right? So the result will be negative because we have negative from the 49. And then 49 minus 24 is 25. So the result is negative 25. So that is our answer. Look here. We had an algebraic expression. We plugged in the numbers. We calculated. And then our expression became a number or a value. So that's what it means to evaluate an expression. You did a good job today. I wish you success on your homework and all your exams. Keep up your good work and I will see you next time.